Hi guys and welcome to .NET Mastery. My name is Brugain and I will walk you through some changes that are coming in .NET 6 with the startup class file. In order to show you those changes, let me create a new project. The first project I will create is an ASP.NET Core MVC application. I will call the project MVC project underscore 5 for .NET 5. Let me hit the next button here. And the first project let me create using .NET 5. I will also change the authentication to individual user's account. Let's enable the Razor runtime and let me create this. Our .NET 5 project has been created inside the same solution. Let me create a new project. And this time we will use .NET 6 for the MVC project. We will select .NET 6 and individual users account so that we can be consistent between both the projects and let's create that. Now if you examine the files and folder structures, one major change that you see here is there is no startup class file in .NET 6. So what has happened here? With .NET 6 what they decided is to merge the startup and program class file into a single file. Previously, if we open the startup class file, we had the configure services and configure method to add items to pipeline. And inside the program.cs, we were configuring that web builder should use the startup class file. So because of that, they removed the startup class file and merged all the code in the single program.cs. So let's take a look at what is different in the new program.cs file. Inside the program class file, we have the builder where we have web application dot create builder. Then we have the container services that we can add here. And in the later part, we can add everything to the pipeline. So what is different is inside the startup class file, whatever you were writing inside the configure services will now be written directly in program class file. And that will be right here in the selected section where we have the comment add services to the container. So you can add all the services and then you build your web application builder. So if we go back to startup, we were adding services by using the services object right here. But in program.cs, you don't have that services directly. So rather than services, you will just have to write builder.services. Everything else stays the same. Like here, you have add controllers with view. We will have the same in startup, but here there is services. Inside program.cs, it will be inside builder.services. Then the next thing inside startup.cs in .NET 5 was the configure where we add items to the request pipeline. Here we had the iApplication Builder app available, and then we used to add everything in the pipeline. Now with .NET 6, if you go to program.cs, that is in the same file, but we don't have method. They have just separated it out with a comment. So here we have the services, and after that, we can configure the request pipeline. When we call build method, it returns the app instance here, and on that, we are configuring everything in the pipeline. So the only change is whatever you are doing inside the startup class file, now you will be doing that directly in program.cs. But that is the only change that is there when it comes to the file structure. One small change that I also want to point out is if you open up any controllers inside .NET 6, now the namespace does not have any parentheses. If we examine what it was before, you will notice that namespace was also inside a parenthesis and then we had the class right here. But with .NET 6, they have added namespace at the top, and we will end that with a semicolon. That is a very small change, but I wanted to make sure that you are aware of these changes. So I hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in some other video.